so day number seven. Um, I've done over six and a half days of fasting, zero food whatsoever, no, not even chewing gum, nothing. Um, I've only had like water and black coffee, uh, black tea. Uh, a few strange things have happened that I'm just going to chime in on now is yeah, kind of my cravings and my taste have, have shifted completely. It's 100% towards savoury food. Um, yeah, more yeah, meat, rice, um, oddly very much Mexican food. That kind of style, I'm, that's what I'm uh, craving, um, for whatever reason. Um, I used to I used to love an Americano or espresso first thing in the morning, but the taste is just, oh, it's, it's vile to me now. Um, I am still craving a flat white a bit, but um, that was the first few days it was a flat white, but yeah, I can't get over, yeah, the coffee thing. Um, I think it's just that strong taste and there's nothing softening the, the taste a little bit so um yeah I guess probably my taste yeah it's like my taste buds are a little bit more I don't know sensitive so um yeah that's a weird one I guess um oh, so guys that's it done seven days I just had my first meal um I feel great, really full, um, but the whole experience was brilliant. Um, again, I've, I've videos on YouTube just kind of explaining it more, and I'll do a full recap tomorrow. But um, basically, the reason I wanted to do it, so I said I'm going to donate a euro for every hour I last in the fast. Um, so I lasted seven days, which is 168 um, hours. So I chose to donate to Make a Wish, um, primarily because like we've got all this stuff going on at the moment and it's easy to forget about you know like people that are hit hit 10 times harder than us like so make a wish basically they give say sick children or terminally ill children and um, just their best experiences you know and um, be it taking them to disneyland or you know a holiday abroad whatever it is obviously that stuff has just come to a complete halt everything is shut down so it's incredibly tough for them that could have been the best experience of their life and they might not get to do that so that was kind of the driving force behind me i thought it was a worthy cause because i saw i saw a lot of fundraisers for for everything really and um i just i thought that uh yeah this one this one kind of was was definitely deserving so that was definitely a driving force for for me to last and then um i've heard of other people who've done long fast so that that helped me push on push on with the fast because originally I was thinking uh, 48 hours that would be tough but then I went in with the mindset I got into the swing of things and you know that extra kick up the ass of like right it's just a bit of weak suffering for you a uh, little bit of hardship you can get through it it's nothing like other people have to endure so that was that was a kind of a driver for me um, and uh, yeah so that was that was it really um, again I track my weight throughout um, down about I think about seven kilos or so just purely not for fat loss not for health just to show that I uh, I wasn't lying because obviously we've been uh, we've been hit with some magical five kilometer run times uh, the past few weeks so um, you know I wanted I wanted just to, to prove that I was I was doing this legit and I have witnesses don't worry but um, and I did everything safe. I've you know consulted people before, um, and I have a, half a brain cell between my head as well. Um, but yeah, it's you know that was, that was it really. Um, a fun experience again. Now it's struggle. I it's struggle to to repeat the process, but um, definitely definitely an enjoyable one. But one hundred percent, I would not recommend it. Um, there's a disclaimer uh, yeah don't do it it's not good for fat loss not good for health um, I wouldn't recommend it for any of those only reason I did it was purely for the mental challenge I wanted to test the mind it's a tough time for everyone throwing a little something that little bit tougher and um, it can put things in perspective it gives you a respect for food and um, how lucky we really are with certain stuff so that was that was kind of the 
the main reason I did and I, I did it and then I wanted to tie it in with, with Make a Wish obviously. Um the gym has donated to over the past year to them quite a bit. That's who that's who we choose. So um especially at this time I think it's a worthy cause because you know what we're going through is uh isn't a fraction compared to what what other people are experiencing. So uh that was basically it but yeah, I hope you find it somewhat interesting. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to do a full recap um, of the seven days now tomorrow over on YouTube. So click the link in the bio and, and, and follow that and subscribe and, and all that crack. Um, but yeah, and yeah, thanks for thanks for the little supportive wor words throughout and uh, those who gave me a few a few tips. But uh, great experience and I don't know, we'll struggle. I, I don't know will they do it again, but we'll see. It might surprise you. So the last thing is just a final physique check and uh, let's check it now, see how I got on and um, see that I lose all my muscle. <laughs>